everyone, it's Cindy Duncan with Cindy Duncan Arts. I'd like to take a few minutes to show you some things that I've done recently. It's been quite a while since I've posted something, so I apologize for that. Um, if you hang around till the end, I will tell you a little bit about what's been happening in my life since the last time I came on with an actual project video. These are some pieces that I created for um, a gallery, a local gallery for their... Um, Christmas holiday art hop and um, so I will share these with you. Um, they are some altered paint brushes as you can tell and I'm real happy about these because I bought these paint brushes at an estate sale a while ago and I absolutely loved them and I had the idea of doing this. I've done an altered paint brush in the past and I wanted to create more so um, <clears throat> excuse me so they've been lovingly um, used. Um, they're nice and clean and everything, but you can tell the patina on them from the paint and the age and whatever. And so I love that. That's what makes them very special to me. Um, on the front here of each one of them has a vintage uh, photo, an actual vintage photo that I, of course, got from an estate sale. So I'm going to try to stop saying that. <laughs> Anyway, on the back of this picture, um, this piece I'm going to call Amy because that was what was written on the back of the picture. And as you can tell, um, we have quite a few different doilies and things that are on here. Many of these things I've gotten from, um, oh shoot, I'm drawing a blank. It'll come back to me because I buy stuff from her all the time. If I, if it doesn't, I'm having like a brain fart moment. If it doesn't come back to me, I will... Um, put it in the links below. At any rate, I've also gotten um, this beautiful applique. This came off of a garment that I got at Goodwill. Not a wedding dress. It was actually a suit jacket, and I found this, and I absolutely love it because I love all the beading and the um, sequins and whatever that are on it. And then on the back, I used this piece right here that I loved. It's one of those pieces that I was hanging on to and like didn't really want to use it unless it was the focal point, not the back. Um, but it fits so perfectly here, I had to use it. So this is Amy. And I'm going to set Amy aside. And I'm going to pull back out again this one. And this one is Margaret. <clears throat> Actually, Aunt Margaret. I don't know if I'll keep the ant part but on the back of this picture which is an uh, actual picture um, was written Aunt Margaret in Italy so I thought that was kind of cool and for some reason Margaret was calling to me along with this um, paintbrush for something wintry um, this I don't know if it's uh, vintage or not I did pick it up at an uh, estate sale um, but I don't know if it's vintage so again, doilies and whatever. There's vintage and newer items on here. And then this is the back. And I finished them off all nice and neatly. For whoever picks it up, um, for their to find a forever home. The next two pieces, I didn't want to talk while I was behind you, but the next two pieces, um, this one here let's put it in there is a much larger piece as you can tell um, a very interesting brush and uh, again it's it shows its patina but it's nice and clean I love it um, and this one was actually I think an old cabinet card and it was cut to this shape probably to fit into a um, mat or a frame or whatever um, but this was all that was in with the stuff that I got and um, but on the back of this, the backing was kind of torn a little bit, so I didn't get the the full name of this woman. Um, but I could tell that her middle name or term of endearment. But I think there was a last name too, so I think it's her middle name. And this is Honey. And so let me bring Honey up a little bit so you can see Honey. Um, I put some trim around the outside of this picture, and I've got some nice little. Um, black decorative things. I don't usually use black, but she kind of spoke to me and said she needed black. So that's Honey. And then the last one that I did, which is the last one? Oh, here it is. This is Aline, like the glue. <laughs> um, 
And Aline just spoke to me and told me that she needed to be very elegant. Every time I tried to add more to this particular piece, um, I had to take it back off again because I'm like, nope, that doesn't work. Um, I like this piece especially because you can see some remnants of white paint um, on this paintbrush. I think that's very cool. Of course, you've got the patina on the handle, which is why I love the um, these particular paintbrushes that I got. This is a button. Uh, I don't know if it's vintage or not, but that... And then this is a um, satin bow. I got in a bag of like 20 or 30 of them. And then I finished it off on the back like that. I still have to uh, put my signature on them and um, take them over to the place. The gallery is called The Red Twig, and it's in Hudson on Route 91 or Dara Road. And... Um, She's going to have them there for whenever I get them there this month and through the uh, holidays, uh, through Christmas. And they have a holiday art hop on um, the second Friday in December. So I hope you enjoyed this and hang around. And I Okay, so I thought I would tell you a little bit about why I've been missing. Um... And then I added this piece for you to look at. This I think I've already shown on my um, YouTube channel. But I'm also going to take that to the gallery as well. It's been adorning my walls for a while. And I'm going to give uh, someone else the opportunity to um, have it adorn their walls. At any rate, so let's start back. I think my last video was in May. And at the beginning of May, I had to go pick up my oldest daughter from college in Boston and bring her home. And that's always like a five-day adventure. Came home. There was about a weekend between there. And then my youngest daughter graduated from high school. And um, then two weeks or so after that, the youngest daughter and, and I went on a senior trip to a Disney resort in Florida. And uh, we had a wonderful time there. I think all told, including travel, it was probably about eight or nine days. And then... Um, when I came back from that, um, my part-time but full-time job is actually uh, taking care of my dad. Um, he lives on his own, and I go up there numerous times during the week, and um, I hand handle all of his administrative stuff, his housekeeping, running him on, you know, to doctor's appointments, errands, um, and what we call dad enrichment, um, which is, you know, doing fun stuff and all of that. So I handle that. But during the summer, my sister, who is a school teacher, um, pitches in and helps out. And so, um, which is nice because then that kind of frees me up. But this summer, that did not happen. Um, as soon as I got back from Florida, my sister went to Italy for three weeks um, for a program that she actually got to do through her uh, school. She teaches in a private school. So that was kind of nice for her. But I needed to be here um, to kind of man the, you know, the home base. Um, so I did that for a while and then, um, my sister came back and then she went on vacation again. And, uh, so I was here pretty much through the month of July. Um, but very busy with my dad. Then in August, at the beginning of August, we took my youngest daughter. Oh, I, I back up before we took my youngest daughter. Um, I did the stamp away uh, convention in Cincinnati where I taught three classes and that was went over very well very nice I had um, nice um, size classes I was very happy with that um, and from there like literally from there I hopped in the car my husband and my youngest daughter met me in Cincinnati and we drove to um, Louisiana uh, my youngest daughter is going to LSU and this is her first year. So we did that. And then my husband and I hung around and um, took a night in um, Mar Mardi Gras. I'm not, that's not the word I'm looking for. <laughs> New Orleans. <laughs> we took a night in New Orleans. And um, then we, uh, you know, came on home. So that was at the beginning of August. So then I had about a week and a half home. 
And then my oldest daughter went back to school and always going and coming. They they both have cars there, but their stuff never fits in one vehicle. So I we always have to drive two cars. So I had to take her to school in Boston. And um, so that was just me taking my daughter to Boston. And I added on a day where I went to Salem, Massachusetts, which, um, you know, if you're going to drive that far, you might as well um, make a vacation out of it. So I went to Salem, Massachusetts. Then I came home. Then I don't remember how long I had a week, less than a week. And then my best friend from high school um, took me on vacation for a week in Savannah, Georgia and Tybee Island. I had a very big birthday this year. My birthday was actually in October. Um, I don't want to talk about it. But it was a very big birthday. Um, so that's why she took me on this trip, which was wonderful and very nice. And we had a wonderful time. The weather was perfect. It's so beautiful. If you've never been to Savannah, you'll have to take my word for it. It's awesome. You should go. Um, so I did that. And then um, immediately after that, my um, teaching job started again. And life has just been kind of run, run, run since then. Um, and here I am. It's already November. Um, but I do have to say that since I am now in an empty nester, both of my kids are gone. Um, my dad is my full-time job, as I said before, but I am finding a little bit more balance at home. Um, my kids before they left and myself getting ready for that uh, show in August and just, I don't know if you've seen my videos before, you know, I'm a closet hoarder. So, oh my gosh, my house was out of control it still is, but at least I have time now. I'm getting that under control, and I am organizing and all that kind of stuff. Um, so what else can I tell you? So that's that. So hopefully, hopefully I will get back into the swing of doing videos and getting things posted again for you. Um, you know, and I've said this probably for more than a year, the ultimate goal is to start actually putting stuff in the shop I created on Etsy. <laughs> and get rid of some of this stuff um, because I've been collecting all this wonderful, wonderful stuff from the estate sales for my artwork, but I have more than I will ever need. So, but anyway, that's what's happening with me. Thank you so much for watching this video, especially if you watched all the way to the end. And um, I look forward to bringing you more content. Have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.